Hi everybody. I'm Lance Christmas. And I'm Karen Sircone. And we're coming to you with our weekly segment of Off the Wall Wednesdays. Yep, this is our first segment of Off the Wall Wednesdays and where we just want to get together about halfway through the week because it's something to do and we can talk about anything. Whatever's going on that week. So we're, we're licensed real estate agents. Uh, we're we're thanks to that real estate group. In Virginia. But, but uh, like, like Karen said, we want to just come to you on a, on a Wednesday, middle of the week, and just talk about whatever. Um, majority of the time, it's probably going to be real estate topics, but Karen and I have been together for a number of years, and we can talk about anything off the wall, hence the uh, name of the, the segment. Yeah. Um, so Karen, we, uh, we have this uh, storm flow coming our way. I'd say that's what we've been talking about for the past couple of days. So we're going to spend a few minutes and talk to you guys about some uh, preparedness ideas and some things to get ready uh, for this storm that's headed our way. Yep. I think one of the first things before we even think of the inside of the house, I think that we need to remember to gather up everything on the outside of the house, such as um, our patio furniture, mm -hmm. um, at least the cushions from your patio furniture, but even the furniture, you know, the umbrellas, the tables, because if we get some big gusts of wind, that furniture will move. I can attest to that because I <laughs> happened on my deck one day and scared me to death. Well, I'm thinking about you right now because you have a house down in North Carolina as well, in Emerald Isle, Atlantic Beach, and yes. um, you had talked about you just spent a, a, num a good chunk of change on some trash cans. <laughs> I tell you what, and that's something I forgot about. I didn't move the trash cans out of the way, and yeah, I paid seventy-five dollars just for the recycling can, and I do not want that thing floating down the street. And I think it's going to end up in Miami. Yeah. But um, I did call somebody to go <laughs> and see if they could could gather up my trash cans and put them somewhere safe, which I don't even know. I guess in the outside shower. So everything has to be contained somewhere where it's just not going to blow. And for me at home here in in Virginia. I, I guess in the garage is where I'll put everything because we have a porch, but I don't even know if the porch is a safe place because that wind's going to blow stuff right yeah. through the screen if so it gets that if bad. If you don't have a garage or don't have a basement, um, some straps. You can get some, uh, some of go. those uh, ratchet straps and anchor yeah. stuff down. You can anchor it to a tree. You can anchor it to a porch railing. You can anchor it to something. Uh, just to keep from the wind um, gusting. That's what I need to do with my trash cans at the beach. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do with my trash cans at the beach. So inside, uh, or or thinking of us, you know, mm -hmm. you kind of want to think about things. Um, I have I have six kids, and um, most we're healthy and we eat a lot, you know, things like that. <laughs> uh, so we want to make sure we prepare for uh, a minimum of three days, probably somewhere up to a week, mm -hmm. um, maybe being without power. Who knows? Uh, mm -hmm. So the first thing, first and foremost for me, because of the kids, is food. You want to get some some non-perishables, some canned goods, uh, some some snacks, some things like that. Mm -hmm. um, just don't eat them in the first all up in the first hour. But um. that's the problem. <laughs> but maybe even some ice to put in a cooler. I don't know if that could get you an extra day or two with um, mm -hmm. with some cold foods. Some beer. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Uh, you know, one thing that I was thinking about, we did last night actually, um, we went to the store and we got um, more batteries. Uh. So we have like those, sometimes we go camping and mm -hmm. we have those, um, those like Coleman lanterns right, or right. whatever. And they take, I thought that took a big battery, but we have some that take just nine volt batteries. Mm -hmm. So we really stopped up on our AA batteries, our nine volt batteries for all of my lights that I can put around the house because yeah, no, that, I don't want to be in the dark. That's really good, really smart. Um, Speaking of uh, camping, I think of going to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so toiletries. Uh, yeah. My uh, our broker Alicia, she had posted a, a picture on Facebook recently <laughs> of her leaving Costco, and it looked like she had a pallet of toilet paper. <laughs> she had a ton of toilet paper. <laughs> but you know, jokingly, all jokes aside, you definitely want to make sure you have enough toilet paper and toiletries and things like that. That's gonna last you again, maybe a, a close to a week, depending upon how bad. Uh, aunt Flo is going to hit us. Right, it's true. You want you want to be prepared. Yeah. Um, and with that toilet paper, you know, you need water. So um, I'm reading here. This is kind of interesting. With this from Travelers, it's tips from Travelers Insurance that you need enough water for a gallon of water per person per day. That's a lot of water. So that's kind of interesting. So I don't know if that's just for using drinking the toilet or, or, or that's bathing for drinking or. Also. <laughs> So I, I would say maybe two gallons. Yeah. 
I went to uh, the giant close to where we live. Again, we're here in Virginia, um, and there was only three cases of water left. On, mm. on this was yesterday, so I grabbed two, and uh, as I was leaving, another pallet of water was coming in. But from what I understand, water across uh, across this area right now is scarce. So um, it is. we don't have any. Yeah, you want to hustle and, and go get some. Yeah. So Walmart's, Walgreens, think of the places, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's, they carry water. You know, mm -hmm. um, the places like you normally wouldn't go, they'll carry water. You might have to pay 10 bucks for a case, but at least you have I it. hope not. I so, hope not. Yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> uh, portable things, uh, your phone, TVs, radios, things like that. Karen had mentioned batteries, um, but our cell phones, most of us can't live without it. We are attached to the hip. Uh, those mm -hmm. little brick chargers that the kids use That's when they go true. to school, uh, maybe have a couple of those, charge those up. If you have uh, a generator, make sure you have enough fuel uh, for the generator, spare, spare fuel, things like that. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So you don't want the phone the phone dying on you. <laughs> I know me, I'm worried about my laundry, so I'm making sure I've got everything washed and cleaned. All the sheets are washed, all the clothes are washed because you know, if we can't do laundry for a week or so, and I want to have enough clothes. We can tell who's a mom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. So, for me, it's cash. You know, uh, power's out, credit card machines aren't working, you can't get to the bank, things like that. So, you want to make sure you have enough cash on hand, again, to last you a, a good week or so. Yep. Um, along with the cash, you want to have enough gas in your vehicles. All right? If, if you and the spouse each have an individual That's vehicle... True. Fill those puppies up. Um, you never know if you have to sit in the car to charge your phone. You that's, know? <laughs> that's where I'm going to be. So, um, you know, that's kind of uh, my thing. I want to make sure we have enough cash on hand because mm -hmm. cash is king. So. Well, it's true. And you know something you just I, I just thought of when you were talking about batteries and things. Um, we just installed a battery backup for our sump pump in our house. Because uh -huh. we're going to have... We're supposed to have what? I don't even know, eight to sixteen inches of rain or something like yeah. that. That's a lot of water a coming lot. down. And I know when we have heavy rains, our sump pump is working. Mm -hmm. And um, so if that power goes out, I want to make sure that that sump pump can continue working. So you can get battery backups. And we just installed one the other day just in case. And I don't know how long the battery backup will run. <laughs> Yeah. But we'll find out. Uh, I, I hope I don't have to find <laughs> out. Actually, I don't. I don't want to know. But yeah. but I do feel better having that. That's something. Yeah. So well, um, that's all our segment for today. Uh, we want to wish you guys well. Stay safe. Stay safe. Uh, Evacuate, please. Yeah. If you're in the Carolinas and they ask you to leave, please do so. Yeah, that's the other thing. You, you know, put egos aside. You know, your, your life's not worth. Um, uh, your ego, um, so put, set it aside and yeah. stay safe. And remember when you're driving not to go through the deep yeah. water. All right, we'll talk so. to you next week. See you next week. Bye, everyone.